Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to talk to you about installing safety cables on the extension springs for your garage door. Recently I had a garage door spring that broke and you can see it right here, it's out of whack. The loop on the end broke on each end. I wasn't home when it happened because I'm pretty sure I would have heard the bang, but it was the door was closed the spring was in full tension. It was extended all the way. So it was loaded. And when that broke, the, one of the loops broke, it probably took off like a shot. And I figure it took off that way. And it broke this end, like it probably went that way and then broke and it fell to the ground and, and it rolled under my boat trailer. So I did some research about these extension springs for garage doors. And you're supposed to have a safety cable. There's a safety cable that runs through the middle. It mounts to the bracket up on the garage door that holds the rails. And it goes all the way through your spring and, over, and connects over to the other end by the door. And if that garage door spring ever breaks, it's gonna stay up there on the safety cable. It's not gonna fall down and hurt somebody really bad or damage one of your cars or something else in your garage. So my garage has two garage doors and I installed two garage door springs yesterday and I installed them with safety cables that came in the kit. And in that kit came two garage door springs and two safety cables. So I just ordered another kit for my door, my other door, and I'm going to put the new springs on with the safety cables as well. Now you can watch that video where I installed these extension springs the new ones on the garage door with the safety cables. I'll leave a link for that down below. So first one I'm gonna show you is the garage door that doesn't have the safety cables and then I'll show you the garage door now that has the safety cables and I'll show you how I attach them. So here's kind of a good shot. Um, the first spring is the new spring with the safety cable going through it. I'm not sure if you can see that. I imagine you can. And then the spring in behind it is the other garage door without the safety cables. I'll come in a bit closer and show you that. There's no safety cable going down there at all. So like I said, if that spring ever breaks or the one on the other side ever breaks, that, cave, that spring is gonna go flying one way or the other. And it could damage something in my garage. And that right there, you can see the safety cables attached to this one here. I have them on both sides. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. So here's the safety spring cable right here. So I just ran it around this brace here that holds the railing for your garage door. Your garage door rolls up on these rails. So this bracing here, all you do is run that safety cable around this and run it through the loop. There's a loop at each end of, or just this end of the cable, and you just run it through there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna line up this safety cable right in line with your spring. You don't want it up here and then it's running down like this and that way. You want to have it right in line. So you run the safety cable through that loop and then you run it through the center of your spring. And as you can see, it runs all the way down to the end over here. And I'll show you where it's attached over there as well. All right, so I came to the other side of the door because it's much easier to show you from than the other side. So the safety cable comes out the other end of the spring, runs us alongside this pulley right down to here. And you can see here that th this does have a loop and it also have this, this here so that you can mount the safety cable to any hole inside this bracket. Now these cables may come in different lengths and uh, this one was a bit long so I just ran it through this hole here and it went underneath and I brought it up around and mounted it to a hole that's right in, in this uh, angle iron here, tightened it up. So as you can see, it's not tight, real tight, but it's just taut enough. So it's not have any sag in it or anything. Now, I don't know, I've heard of safety cables being way too long. And uh, so what you would want to do then is maybe you could cut the end of your cable and then you can run it through a bunch of these holes that are here and just weave it through up and down all around. It won't let go. My other garage on the property over there that's the way it is. There is no loops. There is no um, bracket here with a bolt and nut. There's nothing like that. It's just a straight cut off cable. And it was, <clears throat> the previous owner had it weaved 
through the holes and everything, it doesn't let go. Like this is pretty rigid stuff. So it, uh, it once it's weaved through all these uh, holes, it's fine. So there you go. It's a pretty simple install to install the safety cables for your garage door springs. You know what? I'd rather do that than that, that spring fly off and hurt somebody bad and, or damage one of my vehicles or anything else in my garage. You could even just go to your local hardware store and get a roll of cable and come up with an idea how to tie it to the brackets, run it through the spring and tie it at the other end. You could do that as well. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, the thumbs up. And I do have another video that I'm going to show you how to lube the gears inside your garage door opener and, and how to lube the pulleys on the garage door springs themselves, those springs that the cables run through, because there is bearings in those pulleys and put a little bit of oil in those, it'll move, they'll roll a lot better. But saving the lifespan of those gears inside your garage door opener is pretty crucial too and it'll save you money on repairs. All you got to do is get up there and squirt a bit of grease on those gears once in a while and those gears will last a long time. I didn't do that in my previous house and I had a gear that broke. So I, from now on I always put a little bit of lube up there, a little grease, I check it once a year. So if you like this video hit the thumbs up, that really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and have a great day.